Hello, and welcome to Tech Report. With so much great content available from various satellites that orbit North America, uh, a motorized dish is almost essential. I didn't even know what I was missing out on until I purchased and installed the system for myself. On this episode of Tech Report, I will explain the steps you need to follow in order to effectively install a motorized KU-band satellite TV system. When setting up the mast for a motorized satellite system, there are a few things you want to take into consideration. First of all, you want to make sure that your mast is absolutely plumb. Now I know this is always recommended when you're setting up even a stationary dish, but it is absolutely paramount when setting up a motorized satellite system. My mast here is a little bit off plumb, and I can tell you, it really impairs reception when I'm trying to get to the further eastern satellites. Secondly, you want to make absolutely 100% certain that your mast is sturdy. The motor can add a lot of additional weight into the system, so you want to make sure that your mast is absolutely able to support the weight of both the dish and the motor that controls it. And finally, you want to make sure that the motor you're planning on purchasing can actually support the weight of your dish. Many motors claim that they can support up to a 1.2 meter dish, but in fact, if you're using anything larger than, say, a 90 centimeter, you're going to want to do a great deal of research into your motor to make sure that it can actually support the dish you're planning on using. This will prevent a lot of hassle later on. So now that we've covered the preliminaries, let's get into the more detailed setup instructions. Once you've attached the motor to your mast using the supplied brackets, you'll want to set the elevation or latitude of the motor. Most motors will have two scales on them. One is labeled elevation and the other should be labeled latitude. Set the latitude scale to the same latitude of the location that you're setting up the dish in. In my case, 49, because Victoria BC is at 49 latitude. You can ignore the elevation scale as that will automatically be set when you adjust the latitude side of things. Next, make sure the motor is at the zero position and attach the dish. Set the elevation of the dish according to the magnetic declination angle of your location. This information should be provided to you with the documentation included with your motor, so read it carefully. Remember, you can always fine tune the dish at elevation later once you have locked onto the satellite. Finally, aim the dish towards your true south satellite. Your true south sat is the one that is located at or close to the same longitude as your city. In my case, I've aimed it towards Galaxy 10R because that bird is located at 123 degrees west, the same longitude as my city. Once you have locked that satellite, you can adjust the elevation and azimuth to get a maximum signal on your true south or zero sat. Connect the output from your LNB to the LNB port in on your motor using a short length of coaxial cable. Then connect the to receiver port on your motor to the receiver uh, inside your house. Setting up your receiver is actually pretty simple, especially if it uses DISEC 1.2 technology. Right now your receiver should be receiving a maximum signal on your true south satellite. All that you have to do now is select another satellite that you're interested in, tell the dish to move there, then get the position uh, of the motor stored into your receiver, and scan in all available channels. Just remember that the orbital locations are larger as you go west and get smaller as you, as you go east. So for example, if I wanted to get 125 degrees west, I would move the motor just 2 degrees west from its current location. Most receivers will have an option that will allow you to manually move the dish east and west. Remember to make sure you're looking for a signal on a live transponder and to stop as soon as you see that signal. Once you've acquired a signal, you need to make sure you're fine-tuning the dish by moving it east and west just a little bit at a time until a maximum is achieved. After that, store the position into your receiver and scan in the available channels. Because you've already stored the satellite positions in your receiver, moving the satellite dish is as easy as changing channels up or down. Once all these initial adjustments are made correctly, your motorized KU system should give you years of flawless performance. For INET's Tech Report, this is Christopher. Reporting.